Hi, welcome to the GTAC Tech Tube. Today's video will show you how to add a video unit in Omnicast 4.x. To add a unit, you must be able to successfully ping it from the archiver server that will host it. Additionally, you must be able to access its web page from the archiver server that will host it. The first way of adding a unit is to use the discovery tool that is built into the config tool. The first thing to do is to select a manufacturer. In this case, I'll choose Axis. Next, specify a range of IP addresses to search through. Any units discovered within this range will appear in the list below. Specify an HTTP port and click on the user icon. In the user authentication window, specify a username and password that have access to the unit. Once that's done, hit OK and then click Start. The discovery tool will run and report any units that it finds within that IP range. Here we have a unit with a question mark. This means that the authentication we put in earlier is not valid for this unit. To add the unit that did appear correctly, select it and click the green plus button. Choose an archiver to host it. Hit OK and watch the tree for it to appear. Don't forget, you can add multiple cameras in one sitting using the discovery tool. Another way of adding a unit is to go to the physical view, clicking the green plus button on the bottom and choosing video unit. This will allow you to add a unit manually. Choose an archiver to host the unit, the manufacturer that makes it, the unit or model type, Type in its IP address, make sure the port information is OK, and type in a username and password that have access to the unit. Click Add, and the unit will add itself. Note that if all your units are from the same manufacturer and they all have the same username and password, you can use the Use Default Login option. To set this, go to Server Admin, find the manufacturer's extension, and set the default username and password inside the default login section. Now every time you use the use default login checkbox, these are the credentials that will be used. The last way to add a unit is with a discovery port. Certain manufacturers units use discovery ports, such as Verant. Notice here it is called the VSIP port. Go to your server admin and create an extension to match the manufacturer. In this case, I'll make a Verant extension. Note that doing this restarts the archiver service. In the variant extension configuration, we can set a VSIP port. Any variant unit that has a VSIP port of 5510 will automatically be added to this archiver as it also has a VSIP port set to 5510. And that concludes how to add units in Omnicast 4.x.